これだ何堂島組が人言派をはかどってるか誠なんだ河原さんか脅かさないでくれ悪かったなちょっと表の様子を見てきたまだ誰にも気づかれてねえみてえだ13号資料室なんかに近づく人間はそうはいねえだろうついにその事件にたどり着いたかさすがだ知ってたのかこの事件をああ最後のページを見てみろ河原さんと府警の別所さんがああ俺たちが担当したんだあんたこの事件を知ってて今回の捜査に参加したのかああ公安の倉橋は人言派を探ってると耳にして捜査の協力を申し出たんだなぜ俺はその事件に借りがあるんだ借りもう俺の役目は終わったあとはお前に任せるどういうことだわけは聞くな河原さん人言派の事件を課長が担当していたってことは柏木さんの言ってた担当刑事っていうのはああ別所さんだ本当に間違いない極秘の資料に名前が載ってた河原のおっさんもそう言っていた私にはそんなことは一言も言ってなかったのに河原さんは俺にこれを渡して事件から降りたどういうことだわからんだがあのおっさんまだ何かを握ってるのは確かだどうやらこの事件に借りがあるらしい借りかどうしたんだ信じられないのよどうして課長が記録によると当時カムロ社の4階にいた別所さんは堂島組の動きを察知していただが裏で手を回して事件を黙認したらしいつまり課長がヤクザを利用したのねカムロ町の治安を回復させるには一番手っ取り早い方法だと判断したんだろうしかし上層部にそれが漏れて別所さんは不敬に飛ばされた伊達さんはもうこの辺で手を引いた方がいい人言派はただの組織じゃない深追いすると命に関わるそれに警察に追われている身だバカ言え今さら後に引けるかお前これからどうするんだ合田会長がまだ見つかっていない龍二を追いかけて関西へ向かう So, we both got business in Kansai, right?、Uh, yeah, I'm worried about Chairman Goda. Alright. Well, I need to get my stuff. Meet me back at Serena later.、Mm. No problem.、Eh. Call you when I'm ready. See you then. Yeah, see you then, Kikeoru. Oh boy. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Yakuza Kiwami 2. On the last episode, we attended the funeral of Chairman Tarada. And then we had a sick as hell boss fight with Shindo after he, we found out that he was the one that was betraying the Tojo clan. And to be honest, things just keep on getting worse. We don't have any lead on where Ch Chairman Goda is. We're still stuck in Kamurocho, and yeah, it's, lo no, it's not looking so hot. Let's just、uh, put it like that. Also, I'm just taking a look around the city to make sure that I'm. Not missing anything important. Okay, looks like we're good. 
Let's just head on over to Theatre Square and see if we can get some information. Because right now, I'll take anything I can get. ちょっと待ってください。キリュウさんでしょ。お前は高志。はい。あの、その説はお世話になりました。ちょうど 真面目に暮らしているはずだった。ねえ、高橋、何やってんの？競馬で儲かったから奢ってくれるんじゃなかったの？誰だそいつは？教科はどうした？あ、これはもう頑張って教科を幸せにするんじゃなかったのか。そ
wonder why I should give the florist to make up for this. Ah, who am I kidding? I don't know. I don't need to give him shit. This is his son. He should be involved. And I'm gonna go up there and tell him that and give him a piece of my mind and then probably try my best to convince him that uh, this is a good idea. Hey buddy, how's it going? Boy. Florist. It's your son. Takashi wants to meet you. But the question is, are you willing to meet with him? Uh, you said it yourself. He's pathetic. No backbone in that kid. Not a trait he picked up for me, that's for sure. That's your answer then? Yeah. I don't even want to look at him. Hmm. No backbone, huh? Maybe the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. <laughs> hey. It's just not my thing. Mm. I guess we're done here then. Uh, wait. Takashi. The kid just wants to talk to the florist, right? Uh. Yeah, he does. Then that's what I'll meet him as. Bring, on, bring him on up. Alright. Mm -hmm. Hey, was there a smirk? Nah. Somewhere deep down, you want to meet this kid, I think. Oi. You mind your own damn business. Just bring a little shit in. Alright, I'll bring him in. You don't have to get all sundere on me. It would just be awkward more than anything. Alright, let's go, Kiri. Yo, kid, you better start counting your blessings that you're friends with me, because I'm at least worth half of them. I got you the meeting! Oh, hey, Kiryu san How'd it go, man? He's got a minute he could spare you. Let's head up. Whoa, oh, really? Yes, really. Now come on. Takashi, this is the florist. I, uh, my name is Takashi. Mm -hmm. I don't need your life story, kid. You know how busy I am? Then, you already know why? You want the dirt and the girl you eloped with, right? I just need to know what Kyoto is doing. I didn't ask for your reasons. You're in the market for the info I happen to be selling. That's all this is. Got it? Yes. <clears throat> so, one more time. You want info on this chick you ran off with? Yes. Once you know the truth, there's no going back. Sure you won't regret it? I'm sure. Uh, no matter what I find out, man, I'll deal with it. I can take it. Alright, then. Should I just, like, step outside for a sec? うん、分かった。今なら高橋出かけてるから大丈夫。じゃあ、いつものところで。くそ。気を置く。こっちこっち。もう辞めてくれ。これ以上見たくない。お前が依頼したことだ。最後まで見るんだな。俺は。お父さん、何度もごめんなさい。あの男、また仕事を辞めたそうだな。それは高橋のせいじゃなくて。お前たちにはまだ無理だったんだ。もう諦めたらどうだ。いつでも戻ってきていいんだぞ。ありがとう、お父さん。でも私、高橋のこと
あの男には期待しとらんお前が惨めな生活を送るのが耐えられんだけだキュートライム I'm such a、oh. The world of words won't solve your problems, kid Both of you, thank you I know you guys probably think I'm full of it, but I'm gonna keep working at this, man. I work as hard as I can. I promise. I'll make Kyoto happy.、Uh. Actions speak louder than words. Go back to Kyoto, Takashi. Right! And lend a stable job, huh? No more running away when it gets tough. Right! <laughs> hm. Your father would be ashamed of you right now. What do you know about my dad?、Mm -hmm. I'm an information dealer. What don't I know about your dad? Would you be able to find out about him then? Where is he now? What is he doing? If he's even still alive. There's nothing I can't find out. Mr. Florist, can you track down my father? <clears throat> you got the cash? What? My fee. Can you pay it? How much would it be? More than your sorry ass can afford, that's for sure. No use quoting it. When you can actually support yourself and that girl, you come see me again. Maybe then, we can talk like men. What do I owe you for this time then? Hmm. This one's going on my tap with Kiryu. I still owe him a few.、Uh, thank you. Hmm. Thank him, not me. Thank you, Kiryu san. Really, thank you. Ah,、uh, freaking kids. Hmm. Huh. You're an impressive father. Father of my ass. That was strictly professional.、Mm. Since when do you work pro bono?、Mm. Shut up. Like I said, we're square now. I think you still owe me a few favors. Like, one or two. Just to squeeze them out of you. Out of that plump body of yours. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. Ah,、uh, jeez. Well, that was a nice distraction. And knowing my luck, this will be Kyoru. Well, would you look at that? I'm ready to go. I'll wait for you at Serena, okay?、Yeah. Alright. I'll be right here. You know, Yakuza 1 and 2 definitely has a lot more of this than other Yakuza games.、Uh, actually, no, Yakuza 3 also has a lot of this, which is. There's the overarching plot, but then every so often there's like a side thing from like a previous game or like a previous encounter that comes up and it's like, hey, remember this? This is what's happening with it right now. Like,、uh, this was one of definitely like one of those. And I like it when that happens because it shows, that, again, it shows the world moving and growing and people that you've encountered, they, they weren't just one off encounters. God knows what would have happened to that Takeshi kid if we didn't run into him. Also, speaking of running, these guys are running great net speed right to me. Okay, seriously, guys? Alright, because you were so eager to get beat, have your ass beaten on camera, I guess I can do it just for you. Gotta check also the、um, map to make sure that there still aren't any sub stories to do. In Kamarocho. Even if there are, I'll probably leave them till later because it's been a while since we've been to Sotenbori. That being said, we could have actually gone to Sotenbori whenever we wanted.、Uh, I found out randomly while going to a、uh, taxi that、uh, the option to go to Sotenbori was always there. And I considered it a few times, but for, for, for the pacing of the story, I decided to stay in the city where、um, the main story beats were taking place. Maybe that was a mistake? I'm not entirely sure. All I know is once we get to Sotomori, there's gonna be a lot of stuff that we need to do. Alright, come on, buddy. Ah,、oh, jeez, you got blood all over the doorway. Ugh, freaking vandalism, I swear. What are you talking about? I'm not the one that vandalized. It was his blood, not mine. That's, uh, that's how it works. It's, tr it's true. Anyway,、uh, let's see. Let's just do one more scope of the city. Yeah, looks like we're good for the time being. And we'll be coming back to Majima Construction sooner rather than later. That's a lie, of course. I mean, later rather than sooner. It's a lie, of course. 
課長は今まで私にカムロ町にいたなんて話一度もしなかったわずっと信じてきたのに別に別所がお前を裏切ったわけじゃないだろう裏切りよ私が四課でどんな思いをして今までやってきたかあの人だけは私のことを理解してくれてると思ってたでも自分は裏でヤクザとつるんでたなんてあなたには悪いけどまず最初に府警に行ってもらうわ人言派の事件を調べるのが先よ勝手にやれ俺はゴーダ会長を探す勘違いしないでねあなたはまだ私の監視下にいるのよ勝手な行動は許さないわいいわね分かった すまんな、こんなとこしか相手のって。まあ話するにはここが一番ええやろ。で、わしに何の用や。二十数年前、カムロ町で起きた同時マグミと人号派の抗争事件。課長が担当していたそうですね。なんや取り調べみたいやの。
村井を大阪に連れてきたのはわしや村井っちゅう名前もわしがつけたんやえあいつは奇跡的に一命を取り留めたけど人言派の掟は生よりも死復讐戦闘を生きることは許されんそこで村井は生きることを選んだんやせやから赤室町から逃げる手助けをしたんや他の生き残りからの報復を避けるためかそうやわしと河原が関西へ赴任するときに一緒に連れてきた河原さんも関西に佐山はい今日付けで身辺保護の任務は終わりや命令や理由を言ってください人言派が絡んでるとなりゃかなりの危険が伴う私が女だからですかちゃうそんなこと言うとるやないわ四課の捜査範囲から外れたってだけや今さらそんなこと言わないでください犯罪者を取り締まるそれが私の仕事です今回の事件はヤクザ狩りのようにはいかんのじゃ相手は同じ人間じゃないですかお前は人言派の恐ろしさを知らんからそんなことが言えるんやあいつら女やろうが子供やろうが手加減せんのんじゃでも私はこれは命令や言うとるやろ<笑>見ての通り頑固者でのサヤマのやつ守ってくれるかあいつ守れんのはあんたしかおらんねん頼む一つ聞きたいことがあるなんやカオラさんの発砲事件を知ってるな道島組と人言派の事件と関係があるんじゃないのかそれに関西への不妊ともこれ以上のことはわしの口からは言えんとにかく佐山のこと頼んだで I wonder where she ran off to. I should check in with her. Ah, oh, jeez. Well. Hmm. <laughs> Had a funny feeling that's where she decided to go to. Well, we will certainly check in with her. However, we will not be checking in with her this episode or probably even next episode because now that we're back here. There's a whole plethora of new activities waiting for us, and I say we get started on them. So, on the next episode of Let's Play Yakuza Kiwami 2, we'll do just that. If you like this very plot-filled episode, then be sure to do all that John tried to keep on saying to do, and I'll see you guys next time.